Hello everybody, it's no secret I've played a lot of Starfield. I played like 20 hours of Starfield and I'm loving it. Like I am ba 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 McDonald's level of loving it. It scratches a certain space exploration itch that other games just haven't been able to for a long time. But it, it has some problems, especially when your character makes choices in this story-driven RPG uh, that don't support, let's say, existing power structures, and let's talk about that. Spoiler warning. For Neon City side quests, the pirate series of quests, a little bit of the main quest, and I might rant into some things, I will try to keep the spoilers as absolutely buttoned up as necessary, and it won't reveal any major plot MacGuffins. Like a lot of recent Bethesda games, Starfield has a number of sort of factions and missions and side quests, and these things emerge as you play the game, which is to say you'll hear rumors or your actions will kick off a series of events that start a side quest. And a couple of these are the quests and missions involving UC Sysdef and a gang called the Strikers. Now, to meet with UC Sysdef, you have to do a crime. A regular old crim. A crime rooney if you will. I don't know if this has to be a ground crime or a space crime. I did my crime in space. Anyways, uh, you basically get arrested. And what I had been doing at that point in the game was flying around in my spaceship, shooting bad guys with my space lasers. And uh, there's kind of a fun thing where if you don't blow up the bad guy ships, you can board them. And I found an antique earth shotgun and I just loved boarding ships and just clearing it out like I'm the Terminator. So I did that. And in looting a ship, I picked up an item labeled mech parts. And I wasn't really paying attention. Well, as it turns out, mech parts are contraband. Despite the fact that they can fit in a briefcase, um, it's not like it's Metal Gear, but whatever. So I roll up to the planet I'm going to. I think it was Mars. I can't remember, but I'm like, do, 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 driving along. Oh, look, hey, Mars, I want to land. And all the cops are like, you have mech parts on your ship. And I'm like, oh, no, I surrender. And they're like, you go to jail now. And I'm like, oh, no. And then somebody throws a bag over my head and I wake up on a ship called the Vigilance. I have been kidnapped by UC Sysdef. And because of the way all of this goes, from here on forward, I will be referring to UC Sysdef as Space CIA. Now, Space CIA, like the real CIA, has a big old problem. Budget season is coming up, and the debates conclude that America, or sorry, the United Colonies, isn't in danger enough to warrant a expansive military budget that allows them to just shoot anybody they want with impunity. So that's why they need to kidnap you, old Space Weiler. Anyways, they kidnap you and impress upon you how their mission to defeat the pirate menace is the most important mission that could ever be missioned in the history of missions. It's not so important that they're willing to do it themselves on a limited budget, but important enough to kidnap you, say you have no choice, call you a scumbag, and say the only way to repay your debt to society is to go undercover with the gang of murderous villains, their words. Which is to say they threaten you and treat you like shit and tell you that the only way out of this problem that you've gotten into is to take down the pirates from the inside. Now, I don't know if there is a way to sort of avoid this. I don't know if you can be like, no, I'll go to prison. The decision trees in Starfield are really easy to kind of just get past a decision you mean to make and uh, now you're just down them. And so maybe there's a way to avoid this. I was press ganged into, like, going undercover. Fine. By the way, everybody in Space CIA treats you like garbage. It's really annoying. Um, they all talk about duty and whatnot, but also emphasize that, like, you're not one of them. It's, it's just the worst. It's very CIA. Um, so, basically, they don't give two shits about you, and you have to join the pirates. And it's like, Okay, it's clear that Bethesda don't want you to think too hard about 
the pirates. Like, they have some lore. And the thing is, is it's it's really shocking lore, actually, the lore they have and the people you talk to. Um, a lot of the people are pirates either due to circumstance or due to, like, this is their... their it, actually, in many ways, it is all due to circumstance. It's just whether or not that, that circumstance is created by their own choices or society. But the pirate faction itself actually is created by the choices of the United Colonies. Now, the United Colonies had a problem once upon a time. There were too many people cutting their grass a little too short. And what do you do? Well, you strand your prisoners on a frozen ice world and let them die, I guess. Anyways, as it turns out, the hippies over at the Prison Commission for Hippie Goodness decided that this was an ethics violation. By the way, the like game in many ways makes it feel like that's what you should feel. Like you should feel like, oh, it was an ethics violation and now we have to build a prison to put the bad guys in. Ugh. Anyway, so this prison is on the same ice planet, and basically, instead of letting people freeze on the surface, they put them in concrete boxes and let them freeze underground. So, it's not much, it's a terrifyingly horrible prison if you think about it. Um, and this is not one of those things where the game is like, only violent criminals go here. They talk about like, regular smugglers coming there, petty thieves coming there, like, it is their solution for crime. They talk about reform in some little notes in there, but realistically, like, the sentence periods on these stuff is like, oh, they're in for five years. You shipped somebody off to space prison in the middle of nowhere for a five-year sentence? What is wrong with you? What did they do that warranted such an ultra-max prison, but only for five years? I mean, if they survive. If they survive. I don't, I don't see the surviving rate of this prison to be super crazy high. So I'm not here to get, like, into the whole prison industrial complex thing, but it, it, it's very bad. Like, the optics and the actual thing of it in the game is very bad, and it's not given a lot of thought because it's very easy to be like, okay, I kind of side with the pirates, which I haven't really got to. So the pirates are all in prison, and they decide that prison sucks, and they're going to die here. So they riot, they steal some ships, and then they commandeer a space station with the ships they stole. And, that, and that's it. That's how the pirate faction is created. A prison is horribly treating its prisoners, it's mismanaged, and those prisoners riot and take guns and arm themselves. Ta-da. That's it. That's why the pirates exist. The pirates are actually a problem created by the government. And then so the space CIA kidnaps you, tells you to do some piracy to solve this problem, which is to say nobody's learned from their mistakes here. And heaven forbid you just accidentally loot the wrong cargo. Like, you're going to hell, apparently. This whole long, awesome series of, of, of quests happen that have no nuance in it uh, in any meaningful way. Anytime you step out of line, your space CIA handler is like, oh, you stepped out of line and we have big ethical concerns. And it's like, where were your ethical concerns when you kidnapped me? Huh? Jerk. Anyways, so at the end, at the end of the end of the end, you have a choice. You, John Q. Spaceman, have a choice. And that choice is, do I side with the pirates? The people who have been treated wrong by the very system that kidnapped me and put me in a situation where I was surrounded by people that if they figured out why I was here, I would be murdered in a minute. Or do I side with the space CIA? And I sided with the pirates. And that was the right choice gameplay wise, because there's an awesome space battle where you feel like the underdog the whole time. You board a ship and there's a whole bunch of pirates like helping you just like shoot up Marines. It is a like storming the beaches moment that is awesome. And I don't think would work the other way because the other way it would feel like you're Mr. John Q C Space CIA, John Q Space CIA killing those pirates. That's that. It was awesome. I liked it. But uh, that's not really the point. You know, that's a big preamble. But now we get to the problems. If being kidnapped by the CIA and then the CIA having no sort of like, you know, depth on that and the game hand-waving prison abuse wasn't a problem. And those are problems. But anyways, you go, you shoot your way through the space CIA's super ship. And then you're confronted by your space CIA handler who asks you this. 
And God, do I hate those options. This happens all the time in this game when you try to push back against the evils of capitalism and the gluttonous excess of the ultra wealthy. Like this game is just so infused with those ideals, but anytime you like punch back towards it, there's no good options. Like the game doesn't care. The game views those things as good. And that's really what we're gonna get into. You get nothing but garbage responses. The writers of this game can only imagine that you would side with the pirates because you're a sociopath or because you want money. Or I guess you can say like, I'm not telling you, which is what I did because my option is, you're the space CIA, you kidnapped me. You did this. You created the situation when you kidnapped me and forced me into a dangerous situation. And in that situation, I found the tools to survive and punch back. I mean, that's a little long for a choice, but you know, screaming no gods, no masters would have been really cool. Anyway, CIA handler McJerkface threatens then to blow up his ship because if he can't have it, nobody can. And if you point out that he and all of his crew will die if you do that because the battle has already been won. The pirates have taken the engine room, the engineering bays, and life support. The pirates own the ship. They are choosing not to vent it and kill everybody at this point, mind you. So he threatens to kill everybody. You know, a normal CIA move, frankly. Like if we can't America all over you, like, then whatever. Anyways, so you point out that, like, you're going to kill all your dudes. And he does this. And this image is the reason for this video. This nonsense happens every time I have punched back at power in this game. Every time I have sort of, like played to my character's neon city roots of like literally, literally growing up in a sleep pod and like being like, hey, the system is rigged for the people that are already winning and they do nothing but abuse everybody else. You get crap like this, where you get a very tone deaf attitude of, if you rebel against corruption, the unjust system will ruin, imprison, and kill with impunity, and that's your fault for rebelling. It happens every time you punch back in this game. The first time I noticed it was when I used my Neon City background to tell an executive that she's a bad person for employing factory workers in conditions that are unsafe and keep them in poverty. The game hand waves it by her saying like, well, here at my company, we're family. And I know that might seem like a platitude, but I really believe it. And that's her response to me telling her that she treats her employees badly. Her response is that we're family. Because I guess she thinks I'm talking about like, she's the reason the whole city is suffering. No, the conversation started about your employees. And she just hands waves it. So the game doesn't care about you as a player. Like if you have a play as a player, if you as a player have certain beliefs, the game is going to hand wave you away if they don't align with sort of the beliefs of the game, which makes me ask, why have those options at all then if you're not ready to talk about it? So then I joined a gang. Like I joined a gang. There's a lot of gangs in Neon. The gang I joined is at the center of a small mission chain that, uh, you know, follows this gang that's on the outs. Uh, I get the impression that they were in Neon around the time my character would have been growing up there. Uh, they've since been largely beaten back by a different, more murdery gang. And the important thing here is that this gang started because the corporations in Neon are just absolutely evil. Everybody lives there in near complete poverty. And the cops are crazy corrupt. Aside, there is another quest in Neon where you learn that the cops themselves are running a steep protection racket. Like, it's not a good place. So naturally, I join this gang and I do a couple of their missions and I help them defeat their rivals. And what happens at the end of this chain? What happens, friends? Well, the cops tell the gang you've joined that they are cops now. And the gang accepts. What the fuck? Are you serious? Are you serious? This whole gang was formed because the cops are corrupt. 
And they just basically respond, oh, we finally made it. We're finally in the big leagues. What the hell? This would be, oddly enough, amazing commentary for the police state if it wasn't played so straight. Like, everyone's like, yes, I did it. I worked hard, and now I am the boot that steps on the neck of the common man. I've done it. Like, really? That's, that's the takeaway? That's it? So, anytime you try to push back, like, join a game, join the Pirates, do any. Anytime you try to push back the game, you might win as a player. You might get a shiny bobble, but the game makes it clear that it's not happy about this. And sometimes, sometimes it does this with an incredibly forced hand. In one of the pirate missions, you meet a captain of industry ultra billionaire who regularly talks about the number of people he's thrown off of buildings because they asked too many questions about his business or business rivals he's thrown off of buildings who wouldn't give him a deal that he wanted. He's the guy that owns Neon City. He is the reason it is as bad as it is because he can make money off of everything. He talks about how he knows about the police protection racket and encourages it because he makes money off of it. Basically, at the end of this mission chain, he threatens you. And he's like, here's the deal. I'm going to put a big bounty on you, blah, 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 blah. There's no real, like, option to not make that happen unless you want to pin it on a fellow, you know, pirate. And here's the deal. Like, solidarity, man. Like, I'm not flying a false flag here. It's the Wild Wilder flag on my ship, and I'm going to hold true to me. So, uh, I said, like, you know, no, I'm, I'm alone. Like, you're fine. And he's like, well... Blah, 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 threaten, 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 bounty, 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 bad, bad, bad. And, well, that just didn't sit well with me. And I was like, you know what? I'm a space pirate. And uh, if I'm going to have to shoot my way out of this city because he's going to call the cops or whatever, I'm going to start with shooting him. So I shot him. And this happened. Yeah, that is, so this clip is literally the game saying, screw you. You must bow to this man's power of capitalism. His ability to have billions of dollars is so strong, bullets go through him. The weirdest thing is that, A, it's also true about energy weapons. And B... None of the, like, there are guards outside there. None of them react when you do this. You can just shoot him all you want and throw grenades and do whatever you want, and nobody comes. Like, the game knows that, like, you can't do anything. Like, you, you fought power. You spoke up. And in a minute where, even in real life, if you did something insane like this, which would be wrong, murder is wrong, but, you know, stripping billionaires of their wealth and redistributing it isn't. And there's no option for that in this game, so we're back to murder, I guess. This made me so mad. It, it really did. It made me so mad. And the worst part is, it happens again. When it became clear that my pirate buddies were just going to ransom my space CIA handler and let him free. The one who kidnapped and forced my crew into his service. They were going to let him walk. So I decided to shoot him. By this point, I need to make it clear that this video isn't about ludonarrative dissonance. Um, the game's main loop is the same thing that you do in the pirate missions. You're just doing it differently, uh, and that's fine. This video is about a massive game that is wildly popular, that claims to be about choice, when in actuality, it's about supporting the power structures that exist. Sure, it might let you pick your pronouns, but that's a calculated choice to generate a certain type of outrage by stupid people. And those stupid people give you free advertising. Should you be able to choose your pronouns in every game? If you have a character creator, yeah. Should there be more non-binary people in games? Yeah. Like, absolutely. No disagreement there. But let's be honest. That was a choice because they thought it would make them money. 
and the fact that you can't ever push back against capitalism in any meaningful way indicates that that's what the choice was about. There's no depth here. It's just... It's just what it is. It's just a choice to make money. I haven't beat the main story yet. I don't think anything can turn this sort of blatant behavior on the game's part around. The part where bullets just go through bad guys is... Is a choice, you know? Like, I mean, it's... it's They're just completely invulnerable. The, the people who abuse the system and abuse their power and hurt people are invulnerable. And the game largely takes the stance that that's okay. And that's grossly upsetting. You know how I mentioned the main loop is basically the same stuff you do in the pirate missions? Well, this happens in the story. So one of the main characters admits that, like, oh, we basically are pirates. And you as the player are led to believe that that's okay, because you're doing it for the right reasons. And so what are the right reasons? Well, you know that CEO I mentioned earlier, the one who said that their company is family? Their company is the main bankroller of the hero sort of faction in the game. The whole reason you're doing the main story is this billionaire's money. So that's the answer. Piracy is okay so long as you're taking things for somebody who is already in power from people who aren't in power so they can continue to benefit. That's the lesson. That's the story. And you can't push back against it because at some point, bullets just start going through people. Hey all, I know I just said a lot of critical things about Starfield, and it deserves all the criticism it's getting, but I want to make something clear. I'm not surprised. I'm not. Starfield is the product of the largest... I think literally the largest gaming corporation on the planet. So of course, like it's incapable of taking a critical look at itself. That's kind of how things are. Things are the result of the systems that make them. You know, anytime somebody makes something, it is somewhat a reflection of themselves. And some people are brave enough to make a reflection of themselves that has all their flaws and, and maybe even extrapolates their flaws as a way to sort of heal and grow. Uh, corporations don't do that. And I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And you shouldn't be surprised either. You shouldn't be surprised when people act the way that they are. Um, that isn't to say you shouldn't call them out when they do something bad or that you shouldn't criticize things. But at the end of the day, people are going to act like they always have. And you should hold your surprise for when they do something different. They actually learn and grow. But I'm no longer surprised when bad people act badly. And I'm no longer surprised when corporations act like corporations. I'm just upset. And I'm going to continue to call it out. Because, frankly, that's how things change. Is you make decisions that are bad, unpopular. And then people who do nothing but chase popular decisions will stop making them. It sucks, but it's true. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. I enjoy making these things. It's a really great way for me to get sort of my thoughts out there. If you liked it, please let me know. If you have other questions about my experience in Starfield, let me know. And uh, this was just really bothering me, and I'm so glad that you've given me the opportunity to explain it to you. As always, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.